plant fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jacqueline this is not my jungle it's my car and if you're not new here thank you for coming back I appreciate you for being here um, so we're sitting in my car because I'm in the Lowe's in Danbury like the parking lot in Lowe's I'm not in there yet obviously anyway I'm fine everything is fine it's a beautiful day I'm driving home from New York to Connecticut, so I stopped here in Danbury really quickly to check out what they have going on here at the Lowe's. I don't know if I'm going to go to Home Depot or not. They usually don't have anything, so it's not really, like, all that exciting. Um, but I figured we would at least see what this place has. It's a pretty big Lowe's, um, and it's, like, kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they have a lot of good stuff. Um, and then other times they just have a lot of stuff that's like healthy and nice, but like stuff we've already seen a bunch. So let's go see what they have, right? <laughs> this is cute. They've got um, like succulents and cacti and stuff out here. I see some variegated opuntias for $12.99. Those are always a fun find. Otherwise, a lot of the same stuff that we usually see. Nothing super exciting, so. Let's see what they have inside. I do love all the pumpkins and the fall stuff, though. Hey, plant fam. <laughs> okay, so we are at the Lowe's in Danbury, Connecticut. And we have some cute live trends over there, but I will loop back around. There's just some people over there, so I didn't want to be weird. Anyway, some cute little anthuriums here for $12.98. We've got some Syndapsis trubiis, some Raphidophora hayi here from Costa Farms for $20, some ZZ Ravens, this cute Aglionema back here, all for $20. We've got some peace lilies, orchids, some cute little Dracaena, Aglionema Siam, and then I thought this was interesting. It was a mixed pot, but it was one of the Wick and Grow containers, which is $15.98. So um, can't say I've seen them in mixed pots like that before. This Marble Queen was really stinking cute as well. You guys know how much I love our Marble Queen. I'm pretty sure these are $13.98 if I'm not mistaken. Let's find out. $12.98. Okay, never mind. I was close. Um, really cute. The pot isn't bad either. They had this cute Diefenbachia, I think, with the white vein going down the middle really nice just can't have Diefenbachia in my home as you guys know unless you're new here <sighs> my cat is a dirty little leaf nibbler and he can't be trusted with Diefenbachia um, but they are really pretty a couple of different varieties here tons of palms all of the usual suspects when it comes to floor plants over here um, some really nice little baby African violets for $5.48. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good African violet. I also love a good Maranta. And these pots, again, aren't terrible. I think they're Urban Jungle. And again, they're $12.98. So these Marantas are definitely in need of a little bit of love and water, but they are variegated. Some of these are variegated hiding in here. So I have a feeling that these may be going to the clearance rack, so if you are around, I did film this a few days ago, I apologize for taking a little while to upload, but if you are in the Danbury area, I would check. There's a couple of them here. This leaf had a really nice chunk of variegation on it, so it has potential. It just needs some love. <laughs> so. Some Baltic Blues over here, more ZZ Raven, Fiddly Figs, Aglionema Siam, and then all of the creepy ass Bromeliads and more African Violets. Then you've got the Croton that nobody cares about. <laughs> and I'm joking when I say that, obviously, guys. I just don't like Croton. 
Um, it's kind of a thing. Most people don't really like Croton. I think they look nice outside, but inside I'm just not really a fan. Raffidophora Hayi again over here, more Baltic blues, some Global Green Pothos. These are all $20 from Costa Farms. Um, some regular Pothos down there as well for $15.98. And then just more of the same stuff over here. We have a peace lily hanging out. These are the Wick and Grow containers. So they're $15.98. Couple of different types of ferns. Nothing really worth lingering to look at. So over here they had some neon pothos, but I did notice some of these little splashes of variegation on it, and it was very intriguing. So I was like, hold up, wait a minute, because I do know that variegated neon pothos is a thing. I've just never actually seen it before. So naturally I had to check out the rest of the plants. That one didn't look like it had anything on it, but this one does. So I'm just like, hold on, like, is this a disease? Is this variegation? Like it looks like variegation. It almost looks like a golden pothos, but it's in neon so like I'm just like hold up you know what's happening here so I am obviously going to contemplate this um, because I'm just like I'm confused by it. you can see I'm like I'm looking this one's a new leaf I'm like hold on like it doesn't look damaged it doesn't look sick it's definitely a neon it's not a golden the leaves are much darker on a golden pothos I'm sure will happen across one over here somewhere it's just like not something I normally see when I see neon pothos with variegation it's usually like splotches of green is a really common thing it does genetically but anyway we have some nice hemalamina hanging out over here love these they're just a little on the thirsty side $22.98 so the trick with hemalamina is just making sure they don't go hundred percent dry i'm laughing at the empty pot because the sign very clearly says <laughs> not to take the plants out of their pots and there's just an empty pot right next to the sign so i thought that was funny um some i think this is dogtail cactus for 19.98 in this hanging basket here some tradescantia another one of these cacti i think are really cool We've got some Brazil in these macrame hangers for $23.98. Um, lots of Brazil in these macrame hangers. Some regular Hartley philodendron as well. And then some cute little Dracaena, some snake plants hanging out over here for $13.98. Some ZZs, nothing really out of the ordinary. This is the Apobolis acuminatissima. That's a mouthful. But it's a really beautiful plant, another one that you just don't want to let it get 100% dry. I try to water them when they're like 80% dry because you don't want them to be wet either. Um, just some more, some more usual stuff, you guys. Nothing really super exciting over here. My brain is still trying to process that neon pothos because this is the neon Hartley philodendron here. Um, I do really like that hemalamina a lot. I think it's super cute. And then around over here, we have for $16.98, another hanging basket here of neon that looks like it has some variegation. I'm very confused. I'm very, very, very confused. But, you know, I, um, I, I don't, I genuinely, I don't know why these all look like they're variegated um because then that is the this is the neon you see i'm holding and then that is the golden to the left of it i should have paused to show you the difference and how dark green the leaves are on the regular golden pothos compared to the neon so not me just like picking up every neon to see if it has this variegation on it they do they like literally just they all all of them in this store for some reason have freaking variegation on them and I'm just not exactly 100% sure what's happening like I feel like that's something I would have noticed before and I, I never I've never seen it so I just find it really odd 
This alocasia is cute too, though. But I do find it very odd that now, just like out of nowhere, all of the plants from different growers too. Or no, that one's from Urban Jungle. They're all from Urban Jungle. I mean, is Urban Jungle just like casually throwing out like variegated neon pothos? You guys, go to your big box store and go look at the Urban Jungle neon pothos and please come back and tell me if they're variegated because I'm just like, what is happening? Um, there were some Live Trends boxes here. There were literally nothing exciting in there. I, I stuck a light in there and it was just the usual stuff. Anyway, so over here we have this orchid cactus looking really cute. These ones are $15.98 from Costa Farm. Some Syngonium, Chitoscantia. We've got some, uh, what are those? Strawberry begonias, even though they're not actually begonia. I don't know why they're called strawberry begonia, but they're cute. Um, and then just assorted foliage. Over here we have the clearance section. There are a couple of these Maranta here, so I really do think that the variegated ones will find their way over here. Some of these pots are cute. Like there's definitely stuff to be found at Lowe's. Okay fam, so that was the Lowe's here in Danbury, Connecticut. And um, I did pick this up. So I just found it to be like intriguing with like the little swatches of color on it because I do know that there is like variegated neon pothos that exists out there so I'm just curious to see if um this is going to continue to give me any little splotches of variegation um if not I mean like I'm just going to throw it in with my mother plant probably I have like a pretty big neon pothos it's one of my favorite plants um, it's probably hard to tell, but there are like little splotches of stuff. I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'm going to take it home and, um, I don't know, just give it a chance to kind of like grow a little bit and then, uh, see what happens. I'll probably just pot it up with my, with my big neon pothos. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it on the shelves behind me, the white shelves that I film in front of um for a little pop of neon but i did find these little variegated leaves to be quite intriguing i only snagged the one um that seemed to have like a little bit more on the newer growth than the other one so i don't know you guys i guess we're gonna see what happens it was only 13.98 so like it's not that serious um anyway that's it for this video i really don't feel like going over to the home depot i just I don't think they're going to have anything. I don't think it's going to be like really worth it. So just a quick Lowe's shopping trip. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Anyway, let me know if you found anything that you would have snagged. They did still have like some cute stuff. Um, they had some pretty decent clearance stuff going on. They had those little variegated Miranda hiding in there that definitely should have like also been on the clearance rack. Um, I anticipate that they will be soon. <laughs> so like... If you're looking for one and you're in the area they're here um they just need a little bit of love so but once you get maranta going like they grow like crazy so you just kind of got to give it a little bit of extra love in and give it the right environment and the right care for a few weeks and it's probably going to take off so that is it for this video you guys i really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me i'm definitely not mad about this purchase because you guys know i like those pots too and i've been wanting one of those pots so i was like you know what it's not it's not such a bad combo right so anyway if you enjoyed it you should give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me there is a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant Bam. Get yourself some perky perks. If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. Cannot do this without you guys. But you already know that the best way to support me and my channel is to shop my plant shop. So I'll leave that link down below for you guys. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram um, so that you don't miss when I do live sales over there. I'm doing one this week, but by the time you see this probably would have already happened so I apologize for that <laughs> but I um I'm doing them all the time so just make sure you're coming over there 
and following me. We're on Plant Story as well. I can leave that link down below for you guys if you want to download the app using my referral link. You get a $5 coupon to use towards your first purchase. Doesn't have to be a purchase with me. Purchase with literally anybody anywhere on the app, um, which isn't a bad deal. So yeah, that's my story. Lots of exciting stuff happening. Make sure you're paying attention to what's going on over on Instagram. Giveaway happening very, very soon. Um, we'll probably announce that next week. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you in the next time.